How to help your child develop social networking skills. Social skills are an essential part of a child's development, as they help children to form positive relationships with others, communicate effectively, and navigate social situations with confidence. Building a strong social network can also help children to develop a sense of belonging and support, which can have a positive impact on their mental health and well being. In this article, we will discuss some strategies and techniques for helping children to develop their social skills and build a strong social network. Encourage play and social interaction. One of the most effective ways to help children develop their social skills is to encourage play and social interaction. This means providing opportunities for your child to play with other children and to engage in social activities such as sports, clubs, or other community events. You can also encourage your child to interact with others in positive ways, such as sharing toys, taking turns, and using polite language. By modeling and reinforcing positive social behaviors, you can help your child to develop the social skills they need to form positive relationships with others. Teach Empathy and Perspective Taking Empathy and perspective taking are important skills for building strong social networks, as they help children to understand and relate to the feelings and experiences of others. You can teach empathy and perspective taking by encouraging your child to put themselves in the shoes of others and to imagine how they would feel in different situations. You can also help your child to develop empathy by modeling positive social behaviors, such as listening actively, showing concern for the feelings of others, and expressing kindness and compassion. Foster Communication Skills Effective communication is a key component of building strong social networks, as it allows children to express their thoughts and feelings, and to understand the thoughts and feelings of others. You can help your child to develop their communication skills by encouraging them to speak clearly and confidently, and to listen actively to others. You can also teach your child to use nonverbal cues, such as body language and facial expressions, to convey their emotions and intentions. By practicing effective communication skills, your child can develop the confidence and social confidence they need to build strong relationships with others. Provide positive role models. Positive role models can have a significant impact on a child's social development, as they provide examples of positive social behaviors and attitudes. You can provide positive role models for your child by exposing them to individuals who demonstrate positive social skills, such as teachers, coaches, or community leaders. You can also encourage your child to develop positive relationships with family members, friends, and other trusted adults. By surrounding your child with positive role models and supportive adults, you can help them to develop the social skills they need to succeed in life. Encourage self-expression and individuality. Finally, it is important to encourage your child to express their individuality and to be true to themselves. By encouraging self-expression and individuality, you can help your child to develop a strong sense of self and to build relationships with others who share their interests and values. You can also help your child to develop a positive self-image by praising their strengths and achievements, and by offering support and encouragement when they face challenges or setbacks. In conclusion, building a strong social network is an important part of a child's development. As it can help them to form positive relationships with others, communicate effectively, and navigate social situations with confidence. By encouraging play and social interaction, teaching empathy and perspective taking, fostering communication skills, providing positive role models, and encouraging self-expression and individuality, parents can help their children to develop the social skills they need to succeed in life. Another effective strategy for helping children to develop their social skills and build a strong social network is to encourage them to participate in community service and volunteer activities. Community service and volunteerism can help children to develop empathy, compassion, and a sense of social responsibility. 
By engaging in activities that benefit others, children can also develop a sense of purpose and meaning, and build positive relationships with others who share their values and interests. To encourage your child to participate in community service and volunteer activities, you can Identify their interests and passions, talk to your child about their interests and passions, and help them to identify volunteer opportunities that align with their values and interests. Start small, encourage your child to start small, by participating in local service projects or volunteer activities that are manageable and achievable. Provide support and guidance. Offer your child the support and guidance they need to participate in community service and volunteer activities. This may involve helping them to find opportunities, providing transportation, or volunteering alongside them. Encourage reflection and discussion. Encourage your child to reflect on their experiences and to discuss their feelings and insights with you. This can help them to process their experiences and to develop a deeper understanding of the impact of their actions. Recognize and celebrate their achievements. Finally, it is important to recognize and celebrate your child's achievements and contributions. This can involve praising their efforts and accomplishments and providing them with opportunities to share their experiences with others. By encouraging your child to participate in community service and volunteer activities, you can help them to develop the social skills they need to build strong relationships with others and to make a positive impact in their communities and the world. Another effective strategy for helping children to develop their social skills and build a strong social network is to teach them conflict resolution and problem solving skills. Conflict is a natural part of social interactions, and children need to develop the skills to manage and resolve conflicts in a positive and constructive way. By teaching children conflict resolution and problem-solving skills, parents can help them to build strong relationships with others. Communicate effectively, and navigate social situations with confidence. Here are some strategies for teaching conflict resolution and problem-solving skills to children. Positive conflict resolution behaviors, children learn by example, so it is important to model positive conflict resolution behaviors in your own interactions with others. This may involve using active listening skills, expressing your own needs and feelings clearly, and seeking mutually beneficial solutions to conflicts. Teach active listening skills. Active listening skills are an essential part of effective communication and conflict resolution. Teach your child to listen attentively to others, ask clarifying questions, and summarize what they have heard to ensure mutual understanding. Practice problem solving skills. Encourage your child to practice problem solving skills by identifying the problem. Generating potential solutions, evaluating each option, and selecting the best course of action. This process can help children to develop critical thinking skills and to approach conflicts in a constructive and proactive way. Encourage empathy. Empathy is an essential part of conflict resolution, as it helps children to understand and relate to the feelings and experiences of others. Encourage your child to put themselves in the shoes of others and to consider how their actions might impact others. Provide opportunities for conflict resolution practice. Provide opportunities for your child to practice conflict resolution skills in real-world situations. This may involve role-playing scenarios with your child or encouraging them to resolve conflicts with siblings or friends in a positive and constructive way. By teaching children conflict resolution and problem-solving skills, parents can help them to build strong social networks, communicate effectively, and navigate social situations with confidence. These skills are essential for success in school, work, and life, and can have a positive impact on a child's mental health and well-being. Firstly, it's important to understand why your child might be uninterested in traditional activities. 
It could be due to a lack of exposure or familiarity, a dislike of physical activity, or simply a preference for the digital world. Regardless of the reason, it's important to approach the situation with empathy and understanding. Start by having an open and honest conversation with your child about their interests and what motivates them. This will give you insight into their perspective and help you come up with solutions that are tailored to their needs. One approach is to find ways to integrate technology into other activities. For example, if your child enjoys playing video games, you could introduce them to educational games that promote problem-solving and critical thinking skills. Alternatively, you could suggest they try their hand at programming or coding, which can be done entirely on a computer but still provide a challenging and engaging experience. Another approach is to find activities that bridge the gap between digital and physical worlds. For example, if your child enjoys playing Minecraft, you could suggest they try building something in the real world using Legos or other building materials. This can help your child develop spatial reasoning skills and creativity while still indulging their digital interests. It's also important to encourage your child to engage in physical activities, even if they're not interested at first. Physical activity is essential for a child's overall health and development, and can provide a much-needed break from screen time. Consider enrolling your child in a sports team or dance class, or even just going for a walk or bike ride together as a family. Not only will this help your child develop physical skills, but it can also foster a love of outdoor activities that will serve them well throughout their life. Another strategy is to provide your child with a variety of different activities to choose from. Try exposing them to new hobbies or interests, such as art, music, or cooking. Encourage them to explore their own creativity and interests, and provide them with the resources and tools they need to pursue them. This can help your child develop a well-rounded set of skills and interests that will serve them well in the future. Finally, it's important to set clear boundaries and expectations around screen time. While it's easy to let children indulge in digital activities for hours on end, it's important to remember that excessive screen time can have negative effects on a child's health and development. Consider setting limits on screen time and encourage your child to engage in other activities during their free time. This can help your child develop a healthy relationship with technology and foster a sense of balance in their life. In addition to the strategies mentioned above, there are a few other things that parents can do to encourage their children to engage in activities outside of the digital realm. One approach is to lead by example. Children often model their behavior after their parents, so if you're constantly on your phone or computer, it's likely that your child will follow suit. Try to make a conscious effort to engage in activities that don't involve technology, such as reading, gardening, or playing a musical instrument. Not only will this set a positive example for your child, but it can also help you develop new interests and hobbies. Another strategy is to get involved in your child's activities. If your child is interested in a particular hobby or activity, try to get involved yourself. This can help you bond with your child and provide an opportunity to spend quality time together. 
Additionally, it can give you insight into your child's interests and help you come up with new ideas for activities that they might enjoy. Finally, it's important to remember that every child is different, and what works for one child might not work for another. Be open to trying new things and experimenting with different strategies to see what resonates with your child. With a little creativity and persistence, you can help your child develop a well-rounded set of interests and hobbies that will serve them well throughout their life. Here are some more details on each of the additional strategies mentioned. Lead by example, children often mimic the behavior of their parents and caregivers, so it's important for parents to model the behavior they want to see in their children. This means being mindful of your own screen time and making an effort to engage in activities that don't involve technology. For example, you could read a book or magazine, work on a craft project, or spend time outdoors. When your child sees you engaging in these activities, they may be more likely to follow suit. Get involved in your child's activities. If your child is interested in a particular hobby or activity, try to get involved yourself. This could mean attending a sports game or dance recital, helping your child with a craft project, or practicing music together. By participating in your child's activities, you can bond with them and show your support for their interests. Additionally, it can give you insight into what your child enjoys and help you come up with new ideas for activities they might like. Experiment with different strategies. Every child is different, and what works for one child might not work for another. It's important to be open to trying new things and experimenting with different strategies to see what resonates with your child. For example, you might try setting aside specific times each day for screen time and non-screen time activities. Or you might encourage your child to explore different hobbies and interests until they find something they enjoy. By being flexible and willing to try new things, you can help your child develop a well-rounded set of skills and interests. Make it fun. One of the main reasons children gravitate towards digital activities is because they find them fun and engaging. To encourage your child to explore non-digital activities, try to make them just as enjoyable. This could mean turning a craft project into a game, creating a scavenger hunt in the backyard, or organizing a family game night. Emphasize the social aspect. Many digital activities, such as online gaming, allow children to interact with others in a virtual environment. To encourage your child to engage in non-digital activities, try to emphasize the social aspect. This could mean organizing a play date with friends, joining a sports team or club, or attending a music or art class. Provide positive reinforcement. When your child does engage in non-digital activities, be sure to provide positive reinforcement. This could mean praising their efforts, acknowledging their accomplishments, or rewarding them with something they enjoy, such as a special treat or extra screen time. By providing positive reinforcement, you can help your child associate non-digital activities with feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. Be patient. Changing habits and preferences takes time, and it's important to be patient and persistent. Don't expect your child to suddenly abandon their love of digital activities overnight. How to help children develop logical and creative thinking skills. 
Developing logical and creative thinking skills in children is an essential part of their growth and development. The ability to think critically, analyze situations, and come up with creative solutions is a valuable asset that can benefit them throughout their lives. In this essay, we will explore various ways to help children develop their logical and creative thinking skills. Importance of Developing Logical and Creative Thinking Skills in Children Logical and creative thinking skills are essential for children's growth and development. Children who possess these skills can think critically, analyze situations, and come up with creative solutions to problems. They are better equipped to face challenges and make informed decisions. These skills are also essential for academic success, as children who can think logically and creatively are better able to understand complex concepts and solve problems. Ways to help children develop logical and creative thinking skills Encourage open-ended play. Open-ended play is a type of play that allows children to explore and create without predetermined rules or guidelines. This type of play encourages children to use their imaginations, experiment, and problem-solve. Parents can encourage open-ended play by providing children with open-ended toys, such as blocks, play-doh, or art supplies. They can also create a safe and open environment where children feel free to explore and create without fear of judgment. Encourage questioning and curiosity. Asking questions and being curious is an essential part of developing logical and creative thinking skills. Encourage children to ask questions and explore their interests. Answer their questions honestly and encourage them to seek out answers on their own. This will help them develop critical thinking skills and encourage them to think creatively. Provide opportunities for problem solving. Problem solving is an essential part of logical and creative thinking. Parents can provide children with opportunities to solve problems by presenting them with challenges that require them to think critically and creatively. For example, parents can give children puzzles, riddles, or challenges that require them to use their problem-solving skills. Engage in imaginative play. Imaginative play is another way to encourage children to think creatively. Parents can encourage imaginative play by providing children with costumes, props, and other materials that allow them to create their own stories and scenarios. Imaginative play also helps children develop empathy and social skills, as they learn to understand and relate to different characters and situations. Provide a variety of experiences. Exposure to a variety of experiences is essential for developing logical and creative thinking skills. Parents can expose children to new experiences by taking them on outings, traveling, or trying new activities. This helps children develop a broader perspective and encourages them to think creatively about the world around them. Read with your children. Reading is an excellent way to help children develop logical and creative thinking skills. Reading exposes children to new ideas, concepts, and perspectives, and encourages them to think critically and creatively about the world around them. Parents can read with their children and encourage them to ask questions and discuss the story. Conclusion Developing logical and creative thinking skills in children is essential for their growth and development. Parents can help children develop these skills by encouraging open-ended play, questioning and curiosity, problem-solving, imaginative play, providing a variety of experiences, and reading with them. By providing children with opportunities to develop their logical and creative thinking skills, parents can help them become successful and well-rounded individuals. Encourage collaboration. 
Collaboration is another way to encourage logical and creative thinking skills in children. Encourage children to work together and solve problems as a team. This helps children learn to communicate effectively and work towards a common goal, which are essential skills for success in the workplace and in life. Teach decision-making skills. Teaching children how to make informed decisions is an important part of developing their logical and creative thinking skills. Encourage children to weigh the pros and cons of different options and make decisions based on facts and evidence. This helps children learn to think critically and make sound decisions, which are important skills for success in all aspects of life. Provide opportunities for reflection. Reflection is an important part of developing logical and creative thinking skills. Encourage children to reflect on their experiences and think critically about what they have learned. This helps children develop a deeper understanding of the world around them and encourages them to think creatively about how they can apply their knowledge and skills. Model creative thinking. Parents can also model creative thinking for their children by thinking outside the box and coming up with innovative solutions to problems. Encourage children to think creatively by asking them for their ideas and opinions. This helps children develop their own creative thinking skills and encourages them to think outside the box. Use technology wisely. Technology can be a useful tool for developing logical and creative thinking skills in children. However, it is important to use technology wisely and in moderation. Encourage children to use technology to learn new things and solve problems, but also encourage them to engage in physical activities and social interactions. Celebrate mistakes and failures. Making mistakes and experiencing failure is a natural part of the learning process. Encourage children to see mistakes and failures as opportunities to learn and grow. Celebrate their efforts and encourage them to keep trying, even when they face challenges. Conclusion Developing logical and creative thinking skills in children is a crucial part of their growth and development. Parents can help children develop these skills by encouraging open-ended play, questioning and curiosity, problem-solving. Imaginative play, collaboration, decision-making, reflection, modeling creative thinking, using technology wisely, and celebrating mistakes and failures. By providing children with opportunities to develop these skills, Parents can help them become successful and well-rounded individuals who are equipped to face the challenges of the world. Encourage critical thinking. Critical thinking is an important skill that is closely linked to logical and creative thinking. Encourage children to analyze situations, evaluate information, and form their own opinions. Teach them to ask questions and challenge assumptions. This helps children develop their critical thinking skills, which are essential for success in academics, career, and life. Foster a growth mindset. Fostering a growth mindset in children is another way to encourage logical and creative thinking skills. Encourage children to embrace challenges and view them as opportunities to learn and grow. How to help your child develop skills in finding and applying new knowledge. Developing the ability to search for and apply new knowledge is a vital part of a child's education. In today's rapidly changing world, it is essential for children to be able to find and apply new information effectively. In this essay, we will explore various ways to help children develop their skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Importance of Developing Skills in Searching for and Applying New Knowledge Developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge is crucial for a child's growth and development. Children who possess these skills are better equipped to navigate the world around them, make informed decisions, 
and achieve success in academics and in their future careers. These skills also help children develop critical thinking skills and encourage lifelong learning. Ways to help children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage reading. Reading is an excellent way to help children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to read books, magazines, and newspapers to learn about different topics and subjects. Reading also helps children develop their language skills, which are essential for effective communication and learning. Teach research skills. Teaching research skills is essential for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to use search engines effectively, how to evaluate sources for credibility, and how to organize and analyze information. These skills help children find and apply new knowledge effectively and efficiently. Encourage exploration. Encouraging exploration is another way to help children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to explore their interests and learn about new topics and subjects. Provide them with opportunities to visit museums, attend lectures, and participate in educational programs. This helps children develop a sense of curiosity and encourages them to seek out new information and knowledge. Foster a love of learning. Fostering a love of learning is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to be curious and to approach new topics with enthusiasm. Provide them with opportunities to learn about subjects that interest them and encourage them to explore new topics and ideas. This helps children develop a positive attitude towards learning and encourages them to seek out new information and knowledge throughout their lives. Encourage critical thinking. Encouraging critical thinking is essential for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to evaluate information critically and how to ask questions to clarify their understanding. This helps children develop their analytical and problem-solving skills, which are essential for effective learning and decision-making. Provide real-world experiences. Providing real-world experiences is another way to help children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to participate in internships, volunteer programs, and other experiential learning opportunities. This helps children learn how to apply their knowledge in practical ways and develop a deeper understanding of the world around them. Encourage collaboration. Encouraging collaboration is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to work effectively in teams and how to share knowledge and ideas with others. This helps children develop their communication and collaboration skills, which are essential for success in the workplace and in life. Provide feedback. Providing feedback is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to ask questions and seek feedback on their work. This helps children learn from their mistakes and improve their understanding and application of new knowledge. Model lifelong learning. Modeling lifelong learning is essential for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Demonstrate to children the importance of continuous learning and the value of seeking out new information and knowledge throughout life. This helps children develop a positive attitude towards learning and encourages them to seek out new information and knowledge throughout their lives. Emphasize experiential learning. 
Experiential learning is a powerful tool for helping children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to engage in hands-on learning experiences, such as science experiments, field trips, and other interactive activities. This helps children apply new knowledge in practical ways and reinforces their understanding of new concepts. Teach time management skills. Teaching time management skills is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to manage their time effectively and prioritize their tasks. This helps children make the most of their learning opportunities and ensures that they have sufficient time to search for and apply new knowledge. Encourage self-directed learning. Encouraging self-directed learning is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to set goals and develop their own learning plans. This helps children take ownership of their learning and ensures that they are actively seeking out new knowledge and information. Use technology wisely. Technology can be a powerful tool for helping children develop skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Teach children how to use technology effectively and how to evaluate the credibility of online sources. This helps children access a wealth of information and knowledge and ensures that they are using technology in a responsible and effective way. Foster a growth mindset. Fostering a growth mindset is essential for developing skills and searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to embrace challenges and view mistakes as opportunities for learning and growth. This helps children develop a positive attitude towards learning and encourages them to persevere in the face of difficulties. Encourage reflection. Encouraging reflection is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to reflect on their learning experiences and think critically about what they have learned. This helps children develop a deeper understanding of new concepts and reinforces their ability to apply new knowledge in practical ways. Teach active listening skills. Teaching active listening skills is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to listen attentively to others and to ask questions to clarify their understanding. This helps children develop their communication skills and reinforces their ability to seek out new information and knowledge. Provide opportunities for creativity. Providing opportunities for creativity is important for developing skills in searching for and applying new knowledge. Encourage children to explore their interests and express their ideas through art, music, writing, or other creative activities. Children can experience a range of emotions when it comes to attending school. While some enjoy the social and educational aspects, others may feel anxious, overwhelmed, or disinterested. It's important for parents and guardians to recognize the signs that a child may be struggling with school and find ways to address the underlying issues. Signs your child doesn't want to go to school. Frequent complaints of physical ailments, children may complain of headaches, stomach aches, or other physical issues as a way to avoid attending school. If these complaints are persistent and occur predominantly on school days, it may be a sign of school-related anxiety or discomfort. Emotional outbursts or mood swings, sudden displays of anger, sadness, or frustration can indicate that a child is struggling with school. These emotional outbursts may occur the night before or morning of a school day. 
Resistance to getting ready for school, if your child consistently procrastinates or refuses to get dressed. Eat breakfast, or complete other morning routines, they may be trying to delay or avoid going to school. Declining academic performance, a noticeable drop in grades or a lack of interest in homework can be a sign that a child is disengaged or overwhelmed by their school environment. Social isolation, if your child is withdrawing from friends or avoiding social situations at school, it may indicate that they are experiencing social anxiety, bullying, or feelings of isolation. How to address the problem Open communication, encourage your child to share their feelings about school and listen to their concerns. Validate their emotions and work together to find solutions to the issues they are facing. Reach out to school staff, collaborate with teachers, counselors, and administrators to gain insight into your child's behavior and performance at school. They may be able to provide additional support or accommodations to help your child succeed. Foster a positive home environment. Create a supportive and nurturing home environment where your child feels safe to express their feelings and concerns. Encourage open dialogue and involve your child in decision-making processes related to their education. Address academic challenges. If your child is struggling academically, consider hiring a tutor. Enrolling them in after-school programs or working with school staff to develop an individualized education plan, IEP. Help develop social skills, encourage your child to participate in extracurricular activities or join clubs that align with their interests. This can help them build friendships, develop social skills, and increase their sense of belonging at school. Focus on mental health. If your child's reluctance to attend school stems from anxiety or other mental health concerns, it is important to seek professional help from a mental health specialist. They can help your child develop coping strategies, build resilience, and address any underlying issues. Establish a consistent routine. Creating a predictable routine for your child can help reduce stress and anxiety related to school. Establish a set bedtime, morning routine, and homework schedule to provide structure and consistency. Encourage healthy habits, promote a balanced lifestyle by emphasizing the importance of exercise, healthy eating, and sufficient sleep. These habits can improve your child's overall well-being and help them feel more prepared and confident to face the challenges of school. Be proactive in addressing bullying. If your child is experiencing bullying at school, it is crucial to address the issue immediately. Speak with school staff, including teachers and administrators, to ensure that appropriate actions are taken to protect your child and address the bullying behavior. Consider alternative educational options if your child continues to struggle. In their current school environment despite attempts to address the issues, it may be worth exploring alternative educational options. Consider homeschooling, online learning programs, or enrolling your child in a different school that better aligns with their needs and learning style. In conclusion, it is important for parents and guardians to be attuned to their child's feelings and behaviors related to school. By recognizing the signs that your child doesn't want to go to school. And addressing the underlying issues, you can provide the support and guidance they need to have a successful and enjoyable educational experience. Remember to be patient and understanding, as overcoming these challenges may take time and consistent effort from both you and your child. Recognizing the signs that your child doesn't want to go to school is crucial for addressing the root causes of their discomfort. By maintaining open communication, 
working with school staff and fostering a positive home environment, parents and guardians can support their child's educational and emotional well-being. Frequent complaints of physical ailments can be a sign that a child is experiencing discomfort or anxiety about going to school. These complaints may manifest as headaches, stomach aches, or other nonspecific symptoms that tend to occur predominantly on school days or the night before. It is important for parents and guardians to pay attention to these signs, as they may indicate an underlying issue that needs to be addressed. Possible Reasons for Frequent Physical Complaints Stress and Anxiety Physical symptoms can be a manifestation of emotional stress and anxiety related to school. This could be due to academic pressure, social challenges, or feelings of being overwhelmed. School avoidance Sometimes, children use physical complaints as a means to avoid going to school. They may be experiencing fear or anxiety about school and these physical symptoms serve as a convenient excuse to stay home. Bullying Children who are being bullied or feel threatened at school may exhibit physical symptoms as a way to avoid the environment where they feel unsafe. Learning difficulties If a child is struggling academically, they may develop physical symptoms as a result of stress or anxiety caused by their difficulties. Addressing frequent physical complaints Validate their feelings. Start by acknowledging your child's complaints and showing empathy. Make sure they know that you take their concerns seriously and that their feelings are valid. Medical evaluation If the physical complaints persist or worsen, consult a healthcare professional to rule out any underlying medical issues. It is essential to ensure that your child's symptoms are not due to a physical condition that requires medical attention. Open communication. Encourage your child to express their feelings and concerns related to school. Listen actively and empathetically, and ask open-ended questions to help them share their thoughts. Identify stressors. Work with your child to identify specific stressors or challenges at school that may be causing their physical symptoms. This could include academic struggles, social issues, or feelings of being overwhelmed. Develop coping strategies. Help your child develop healthy ways to cope with stress and anxiety. We'll explore some strategies and tips for helping your child develop the ability to learn and research independently. Foster curiosity. One of the most important things you can do to help your child develop the ability to learn and research independently is to foster their curiosity. Encourage them to ask questions, explore new ideas, and try new things. You can do this by exposing them to a wide range of experiences and activities, such as visiting museums, attending cultural events, or traveling to new places. Additionally, you can provide them with a variety of books, magazines, and other resources that spark their interest and encourage them to learn more. Develop critical thinking skills. Critical thinking skills are essential for learning and researching independently. Help your child develop these skills by encouraging them to analyze information, question assumptions, and consider different perspectives. You can do this by engaging them in discussions about current events, asking them to evaluate arguments or claims, or having them participate in debates or mock trials. Teach research skills Research skills are essential for independent learning and are particularly important in the age of the Internet. Teach your child how to find and evaluate information from reliable sources, how to organize and analyze information, 
and how to cite sources properly. You can do this by modeling good research habits yourself, such as double-checking information before sharing it and using reliable sources when researching a topic. Encourage self-directed learning. Self-directed learning is the ability to take responsibility for one's own learning and pursue interests independently. Encourage your child to take ownership of their learning by letting them choose topics that interest them. Encouraging them to set their own goals and deadlines, and providing them with resources and support as needed. Additionally, you can help them develop a growth mindset by emphasizing the importance of effort and perseverance over innate ability. Provide opportunities for hands-on learning. Hands-on learning can be a powerful way for children to develop their research and learning skills. Encourage your child to participate in hands-on activities, such as science experiments, DIY projects, or coding challenges. This can help them develop problem-solving skills, improve their ability to follow instructions, and provide them with tangible results that can reinforce their learning. Emphasize the importance of reflection. Reflection is an important part of the learning process and can help children improve their research and learning skills. Encourage your child to reflect on their learning by asking them to summarize what they've learned, identify areas where they need more practice or support, and set goals for future learning. You can also help them develop a growth mindset by emphasizing the importance of learning from mistakes and using failures as opportunities for growth. Here are a few more strategies and tips to help children develop the ability to learn and research independently. Create a learning-friendly environment. Creating a learning-friendly environment at home can help children feel motivated and encouraged to learn. This can include setting aside a designated space for studying, providing access to educational materials and resources, and creating a routine that allows for regular learning time. Encourage goal setting. Goal setting can be a powerful motivator for children and can help them develop a sense of direction and purpose in their learning. Encourage your child to set achievable goals for their learning and provide support and guidance as they work towards those goals. Celebrate their successes along the way and help them learn from their failures. Use technology wisely. Technology can be a valuable tool for learning and researching, but it's important to use it wisely. Teach your child to use technology responsibly, to distinguish reliable sources from unreliable ones, and to use online tools effectively for research and learning. Provide feedback and support. Providing feedback and support can help children develop their learning and research skills. Encourage your child to ask questions and seek feedback on their work, and provide constructive feedback that helps them improve. Celebrate their successes and encourage them to keep learning and exploring. Make learning enjoyable. Learning doesn't have to be a chore, in fact, it's more effective when it's enjoyable. Find ways to make learning fun and engaging for your child such as incorporating games or activities into their studies or using real-world examples to illustrate abstract concepts. By creating a learning-friendly environment, encouraging goal-setting, using technology wisely, providing feedback and support. And making learning enjoyable, parents can help their children develop the ability to learn and research independently. With time and practice, children can become confident, self-directed learners who are able to pursue their interests and achieve their goals. Here are a few more strategies and tips to help children develop the ability to learn and research independently. Encourage exploration and experimentation. Encouraging exploration and experimentation can help children develop their research and learning skills. 
Encourage your child to explore topics that interest them, to try new things, and to experiment with different approaches to learning. This can help them develop a sense of curiosity and creativity, as well as problem-solving skills and an ability to think outside the box. Provide opportunities for collaboration. Collaboration can be a valuable way for children to learn and research independently. Encourage your child to work with others on projects, assignments, or research topics. This can help them develop teamwork and communication skills, as well as learn from others' perspectives and experiences. Emphasize the value of lifelong learning. Emphasizing the value of lifelong learning can help children develop a growth mindset and a passion for learning. Encourage your child to see learning as a lifelong pursuit, and to explore new topics and ideas throughout their lives. This can help them develop a sense of purpose and motivation in their learning, and inspire them to continue learning and growing throughout their lives. Support their interests and passions. Supporting your child's interests and passions can help them develop their research and learning skills. Encourage your child to pursue topics that interest them, and provide resources and support to help them explore those topics further. This can help them develop a sense of autonomy and ownership in their learning, as well as a love of learning that will serve them well throughout their lives. Model good learning habits. Finally, modeling good learning habits can help children develop their research and learning skills. Show your child that you value learning and research by pursuing your own interests and passions, and by discussing what you've learned with them. This can help them see learning as a valuable and rewarding pursuit, and inspire them to do the same. Encouraging self-directed learning is an essential strategy for helping children develop the ability to learn and research independently. Here are some more details on how to encourage self-directed learning. Provide a variety of resources. Providing a variety of resources is essential for self-directed learning. Encourage your child to explore different books, articles, videos, and other materials on a variety of topics. You can provide these resources by taking regular trips to the library, subscribing to magazines or online resources, or purchasing books or other materials that align with your child's interests. Let your child choose the topic. Letting your child choose the topic of their research or learning is a powerful motivator for self-directed learning. Allow your child to choose topics that interest them, and provide resources and support to help them explore those topics further.